Summoner builds have always been my favourite in games ever since the Summoner games for the PlayStation 2. Well, since they were pretty cool in the first Remnant game, and with this new game having a Summoner class itself, you know we had to try it out. And it turns out there's also an insane synergy between the Summoner class and a certain ring that lets your summons deal up to an over 100k damage as discovered by Karas on YouTube. So let's go over the items that I'm using and how you can do this crazy combo for yourself to make your summons into the ultimate damage machines. By using the Flyer Minion ability, you can summon two different Flyer Minions that each shoot independently with their projectiles. And of course, with the Summoner class, we also get the Regrowth trait card that gives us constant health regeneration, which is great because summoning costs our health. However, the Anastasia's Inspiration Ring is actually insane with this class. It has an effect where when you're receiving healing effects, you gain haste for 10 seconds. However, the constant health regeneration of the Summoner's Trait card means that we will always have that haste buff active. This is insane because the buff itself gives a 7% speed bonus to our actions. And while I'm not 100% sure on what this means, I think it means we get 7% to pretty much everything such as movement speed, reload speed, fire rate, and so on. But while having that 100% uptime on haste is very good in of itself, the true madness lies in the synergy this has with your minions. For whatever reason, every second or to that you don't aim or take any action, the damage that your summons do starts to build up over and over seemingly infinitely. You can actually demo this in Ward 13 for yourself where you can see my minions easily hitting over 10k per shot each. But you can also do this in solo play by waiting at the start of the map for a short while and then running through and letting your minions destroy everything for you, the true summoner dream. To get the ring by the way, you can buy it off of Whispers in Ward 13. But for more regular gameplay, I found that the engineer was a perfect match with the summoner as the engineer's turrets count as summons for item buffs and effects. Perhaps the most useful one is the ring that I'm using called Soul Link that gives your summons 5% life steal to you. Since the turrets of the engineer are a bit more reliable for hitting targets, you can get some amazing life steal just by placing the turret down. I have found the Vulcan turret to be really good, however recently I've been really enjoying the impact cannon as it's great for groups of enemies in corridors and smaller maps where you can round them up because this thing does a massive AoE chunk of damage around it. For the weapon mods, I'm keeping to the theme of the summoner, and as such I'm using Root Lash which allows us to summon tentacles that deal damage and again life steal for us, making us more tanky, but also the Space Crabs mod which shoots an egg that hatches a bunch of little aliens that jump and explode on enemies. This is pretty nice burst damage, and both of these skills together along with your minions and your turret means that you have a bunch of creatures around you doing stuff to the enemies. Because we are using these mods, I like the catalog as Jewel Ring, which gives you passive mod regeneration. And the Heart of the Wolf, because it gives you some stamina, but also 10% extra movement speed, which just makes you faster, which is nice. The Ankh of Power seems to be a pretty insane necklace, because it gives you 15% to all damage, which is then doubled when you use a relic, so I'm not really sure if there's a better option than that. If you know of one, do tell me in the comments so we can all learn together. I also quite like the Ruined Heart, as it gives mod and health regeneration, which keeps my uptime on the tentacles and aliens from our weapon mods even higher. On the screen you can see all of my trait points here, however this isn't optimized because it's a bit of a pain to re-roll them, so while I'm still figuring things out and unlocking more cards, this is just what I'm using for now. So tell me, what does your summoner build look like? Are you going to try this insane combo with the haste buff? Because it's actually pretty cool. And the two videos on screen now, we think you'll really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. You don't have to watch them if you don't want to, but if you did like this video, you're probably gonna like these ones too. And then tell us what you think after watching in the comments down below.